here we go. So we got our main jet stem. We're gonna slip it back up over. We're gonna tighten that down by hand. Got our socket here. We're just gonna snug it. That's it. It's a little snug. It's in there. It's not coming out. Okay. Make sure our main jet is nice and snug. It's nice and snug. This little one slips right next to it. Just gonna spin it down tight and barely snug it. Okay. Got a little bolt here. Washer, it's a plug. That's all it is. Plug this hole off. Get that down in there. Lock it on nice and snug that's it nothing special nice and tight and then now we're gonna go ahead get our float just about set up we'll slip our slip it up over this little thing here a little tab of metal that way you can see it dangles there. I'll slip it in the hole here. Set that all in there. Let's take our pin, line everything up. Okay, now we got what parts we need in it. This is the new gasket. This is the one that was pinched flat. The main reason we took this whole carburetor apart was because this gasket kept getting wet. It was smashed flat uh, too many years. And the other problem was, is like I said, the jet uh, backed out of the main jet here and was touching the bottom. And as soon as I took this off, I barely moved it and it fell out of the carburetor. So the bike was acting up a little bit the last ride and that's what it was. Uh, other than that, the bikes always ran really good and I recheck them every year. So no big deal. I bought a whole rebuild kit and the only thing I really need is the idle air screw and the uh, actual needle to stop the gas in this gasket out of the whole kit for the front carb so far. Oh yeah, you can tell that's a big difference. So we'll just put these four screws back in and snug them, just like the other process there. We're gonna do an X pattern here. This being a new gasket in there, it's gonna really be nice. So now I ain't got to worry about it because I kept smelling gas and I noticed the carburetor is wet around it. So I wanted to take it apart. I got it home and the next day it didn't want to start right. And I thought, boy, that's weird. And uh, it just so happened that was the jet. It backed out. All right, then we're snug. That's that. Floats functioning still. All right, next process here. The next process, get one of these out of the bag here. Get the springs out if we can, because they vibrated and they're slightly twisted together. Okay, there we go. Bam. See, these will just set just like that down in here. We'll be good to go. We got a spring in here, our diaphragm, push our cover down. This one's a flat screw. There's a little bevel in the lid, so it 
lays flat. Put this one in first and nice and give it a little snug so I can let go. There, that lines everything up a little bit better. There we go. Now, go ahead and get my other regular screws in. Snug one, snug the second, and then the third one. That's it, you just want to snug them. Okay. That's it. You can see this thing bounces off the bar a little bit. How the bar is grooved into it. It's crazy. The bar on the frame. No. Let's top boot back in here. Okay, still. Okay, put just a dab of oil on this piston. Just a dab, just enough to barely, just not even a drop all the way. You want to make sure we do, though, because you don't want this thing sticking up. You don't want to, you know what I mean? Because if it jams, then you're going to be have a pin up and you're getting gas in. It could either cause it to shut the bike off or really idle up heavy and take off on you. You the world to hurt them. Back down in here. Come on. There we go. Smooth this diaphragm with my finger a little bit. There. Right there. There's spring in there. screws in just to get this cover held out a little bit just put one all the way down to help just where it stops there we go get this other corner on and we can get the other two in and the whole top diaphragms in we're pretty good we can do the other one It will be the same process. Let's see, let's check and make sure this functions. Yep. Vent tube back on. Gotta link these all together. Choke goes in here. 